Yo, it's Mel from Rap Rankings. To hear the full episode this clip comes from and all the other episodes, stop by raprankings.com or search Rap Rankings on your favorite podcast platform. Track five, you ought to know. Cameron featuring Joel Santana. Oh, man. This is kind of the whole point of doing this tape is you got to hear this. You got to love this. Seven plus. Nine minus. Sting me, baby. Oh, oh you really got to love it. Literally. <laughs> now, keep in mind, the original sample for me is a 10. Oh, wow. All right. Well, the original sample for me is an eight plus. So okay. I feel you. Um. It's it's an amazing song, one of my favorite songs from my favorite artist of all time. And I thought when I was picking out what tape to do from the Diplomats volumes one through five, I realized my only chance to talk about this song was now. So I based my decision based on this one song. <laughs> because to you. me, this is the greatest Billy Joel flip in hip hop history. Many have come. There are eight pluses out there, but there are not nine minuses. And by the way, the studio version of this song, without all the drops and everything, flat nine. Oh, flat nine. Okay. This thing is a classic. I love this song. (laughs) And we're going to start with the original sample. We're going to go through the history of the original sample in rap, but then we're going to kind of widen the scope and go through every Billy Joel sample in hip hop history that I'm aware of. You know what it is, bitch. Another Moore's history lesson. So this is uh, coming off of the oral history of the vampire in hip hop. We've heard the history of future and little Wayne's collaborations. We've heard. What was the other one? Mel? Recently. What was the other one? It was recent. We we be getting historical, walking y'all we, through this. Yeah, we, we were. Oh, it was the doo wop songs on that. Oh Action yeah, doo wop. Yeah, the Action Bronson, Blue Chips Two, Patreon exclusive. Yeah, we went history through all of doo-wop the and hip hop. Yeah. History of doo wop samples in hip hop, and we've arrived at my favorite artist. So I figured, you know, this is a special occasion with this being my favorite sort of hip hop flip of one of his songs. Mm-hmm. But let's start with the original where it all began. Billy Joel moving out, a.k.a. Anthony song. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. I just want to thank you before I play this for introducing me to the world of uh, Billy Joel. Oh, you're welcome. They don't make you like that no more. They just don't. They just I don't. got more Billy because listen, <sighs> Long Island is in the building in the fucking all building. day. We've got my favorite live performance of Moving Out, Anthony's song by Billy Joel from Nassau Coliseum, 1977, I believe. Billy Joel out in Nassau. 77 on the cast. <laughs> all right, here we go. Moving Out, Anthony's song. Live. Um. This is a song uh, on the record. It's called uh, Moving Out. We call it Anthony's song.
you ask me nicely, I will send you the full show. <laughs> That's uh, his best soundboard, non-released live performance. Um, 77 at Nassau Coliseum. The band plays like half a step faster than they do on record. So sometimes I even just listen to those versions. Hmm. Um, before we get into the history of that sample in hip hop, it has been covered before by the pop punk group Bayside on one of the pop goes punk compilations. And I want you to hear this because, you know, nobody cries foul about this shit, but some people will say, Oh, they're just copying the music. They're just, you know, sampling it and speeding it up or slowing it down. Oh, not really the sample doing anything. Misunderstanders out there. Yeah. So, but they have nothing to say about this kind of shit. And I have to say, <laughs> Every pop punk cover of a Billy Joel song I've ever heard sucks. Uh, this is Bayside moving out Anthony's song. Is this an exception to that rule? No. Or is oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Off. Is that all you get for your money? What really got me? Mommy Leone here. <laughs> get out of here, man. So listen, if you want to come at these producers for sampling these classic songs, at least have smoke for that kind of shit, which I never see. Let's yeah, get into the samples. Out. Staying right there. And also, Billy Joel has cleared a number of these samples, so he doesn't have a problem with it. Billy's cool. Did you see the new quick news? He was hanging out with Olivia Rodrigo recently. They were, she was, you know, he always invites a guest to his Madison Square Garden residency to do a song or two. And he did a duet with Olivia Rodrigo, and then she did her big song. You know, he don't hate the new generation. All right. No, but some of the people in the Facebook group are, like, really touchy about this stuff. Like, I can't even share this long form. Oh, hey, YouTube, by the way. Um, <laughs> like, share, subscribe, you know the deal. Um, I can't share this in the Billy Joel fan group that we're a part of, Mel, on Facebook, because they're, like, so bitchy about samples. Mm. Every every time they hear a sample, they're like, Yeah, rest in peace, Billy Boy. <laughs> you know? Jesus, man. But let's get into the samples. So let's start out with, uh, I have a higher quality version of You Ought to Know by Cameron. It's uh, Diplomats in the folder. Uh, yeah. You Ought to Know. So this is the non-mixtape version. Yes, uh, but this is what I give the flat nine. This version on the mixtape, nine minus. We'll get to why when we talk about the record. All right. Now when the beef song, Santana gon' ride out Car still rollin', hop out, block out like Then I shoot ya, hop back in and maneuver The V off, skeet off while I'm yelling out Don't make me spell it out, I push your melon out Then get back to the block, the package, the rock Baggies and tops, uh Should I slap it or not, fuck it man that's what I tell them, man. I'm a selfish man. I need every gram. Once again, uh, not a penny more, not any more. I let the semi pour shots, shots in, in your memory, memory core. core. Oh, that's the line. That's the line of the verse right yep. there. <laughs> so that's, semi -pour you know, the record itself. Core. And let's talk oh, about man. the record before we move on to all the rest of the stuff that I have here. 
Let's talk okay. about this record. We'll review it. Talk about why I give this a nine. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, yeah, look, man. Um, <laughs> I'll say this. I thought it was going to go. Here's the truth of the matter. If you hadn't have, like, caused me to do the Billy Joel dive, like the Billy Joel rankings. I went through his whole discography, like, I think 2018. If not for that, this probably would have got an eight because I went in expecting an eight, but I like the original so much, like the actual Billy Joel song. Mm-hmm. Like that's an eight plus for me. So it's like this can't quite touch it for me. <laughs> I know, so it's it doesn't like, touch it for me either. It's a 10, though, to me. Right. So like had I not actually heard the Billy Joel song, this might be an eight for me because i know this is up, like classic heat makers as we were just talking about on you're gonna love me like a classic you know sample pull it's an obvious sample but they freak it man yeah they freak they got it just they made it perfectly hip-hop you know and the funny thing about this song before i ever actually heard the song the year i started rapping 07 i found this beat thing on limewire and i mm-hmm. vividly recall putting it on my mp3 player taking it with me to school the yo 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 school aka peoria Notre dame and planning to write to it because i didn't know it was billy joel at the time but i just love that sample like you should never argue with the crazy ma, 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 ma. and that's how i felt in the lion's den of that school at fucking school only, well, only black kids these fucking racially insensitive fucking jackasses around me and i'm just like i feel like i'm gonna snap every day like don't you should never argue. i'm fucking y'all making me crazy like you ought to know by now that you're going to make me fuck one of y'all up. Shout out to Sean Roy. Anyway, <laughs> like my plan was to rap on it, but I never did. I just, I guess I just like listening to the beat too much. And I had the beat for years before I ever heard the song. Didn't know it was Billy Joe. I just know I love the sample. I love the sentiment of the record. And then I finally heard the record. Then I finally heard the Billy Joel song, you know, in full. Cause I think, you know, growing up, you're going to hear Billy Joel. He's an American institution. You know, yeah. but you might not know it's Billy Joel like me. So I'm like, oh, this is OK. That, this is Billy Joel. And um, yeah, so the actual song, you know, moving out anything song eight plus. This is a seven plus. Uh, I like it, but I will admit that the boy Billy is the reason this is truly hard to me. I like, mean, this put- would not be a nine or a nine minus to me with that. If I didn't know what this sample was. And it wasn't a song that meant so much to me. And they killed the flip. Because mm-hmm. that could go two ways. You know, you sample something I love. I hope I like how you flipped it. Yeah. You know, so that that's the truth of the matter. Like, and if you take these raps and put them somewhere else, I don't know. not on this beat, I don't think I would care. Well, as much. I'll say this. Jewel's, I like his passion. I like his energy. You highlighted his closing line. Great closing line. I love the semi poor shots of your memory core. That's that's good violence. That's that's good you know, violence. <laughs> that's good violence for sure. But I love Cameron's verse on this song. I mean, he's just one of my favorite rappers in general. But you know, this is Cameron's newer style at the time. Like mm-hmm. not the old Cameron as we were discussing on Confessions or SDE. So. As far as that era of Cameron goes, this is one of my favorite verses from him. And, you know, the closing stinger from him on here, I get head with the lights on, lights out. I used to drop Lewinsky off at the White the House. House. <laughs> Alan, holla at me, Bill. <laughs> you know, uh, then Jewels and Cam come in for like two eight bars, like one each. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Without the sample driving it, I'd knock it down a point. But the sample is doing a lot of heavy lifting here. Heatmakers are just the kings of getting shit over, getting an extra point tacked on to something, you know, and doing something with it. Not just getting by on the novelty of flipping Anthony's song, because anyone can flip Anthony's song. We'll hear that. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. So do you want to dive deeper? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, this is Mama's Boyfriend. This is the one that Q-Tip worked on on the uh... Kanye West, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy sessions. I remember seeing video footage 
of him at the box in New York City performing this song with John Legend on the piano and John was playing the moving out, um, you know, chords as well live. So at the time, this is the version they were going with. Ultimately, no version ended up on the album. I remember they said Soldier Boy was working on one. Oh, well, Q-tip what? Q-Tip was working on one. It's a whole thing. We know how he works. But this is the one Q-Tip was doing with um, the Billy Joel sample. Same one as You Ought to Know. And I believe Q-Tip played this at Red Bull Music Academy. Okay. Here we go. That's what it's all about. Who knew one day I'd be just like you niggas? Uh, 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 all right, you niggas. Uh, 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 all right, you niggas. When I become a mama's boyfriend, he walked in our lives. I was only five. Superman pajamas, I was super duper fly. Sitting there like, why? He at least super size. You know, I scrutinize like, who this new a guy? I'm a mama boyfriend, I'm a little husband I was the man of the house when it wasn't Trying to get to know me, homie, just kill the charm You ain't interested in me, you just trying to fuck my mom We are the voices of our parents' bad choices The aftermath of the forces, the kids are bitter Split ups and baby sit these grandparents That don't know what to do with us And the last thing I want to see is mama's <sighs> Look Oh, fuck, fuck this motherfucker Oh, uh, that's Kanye West. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Uh, I don't <laughs> I just really had to like hit the it. Drop. But I actually, I like Mama's Boyfriend. I like that song. I, I like, like the live version better with John Legend doing all the Billy Joel stuff. Mm-hmm. That one sounded like a rough fit. Like, I know the deal was like, Ye recorded it and just tried to get people to make a beat around the recording. Mm-hmm. And I don't think anyone was able to really, like, lock his vocals in on a version that he was happy with. So I it never came out if that uh, if that was Red Bull Music Academy. Hey, uh, if y'all listening, Red Bull Music. Hey, fuck y'all. OK, because I applied in 2014. Nah, fuck Red Bull Music Academy, because <laughs> I hear that we're going to meet with a certain uh, guy who at one point in his career only had seven bucks in his pocket. Ooh. And we're going to start ZOA Music and Radio Academy. There we go. Now we're talking. Prodcasters and musicians, all welcome. That's right. We don't need Red Bull no more. Okay. We got Zoa. All right. Was in that dorm room for like three days. No, you know what? It's just going to be called Zoa Energy Academy. And it's going to be like TED. TED Talks. Like, we got... We got some hip hop shit for that. We got Dart. We'll bring him in. We'll bring Jesse in. We'll bring some Mr. Kill. And we'll get some like people, just like artists and whatnot in there to do interviews with different people. You know, some of those people we just named. It'll be the new Academy. Okay. Oh, they're done. No more Red Bull. Okay. They're done. Okay. I'm, a- <laughs> I'm definitely not going to. Um- Oh my God, I still have the application. Jesus Christ. I'm not, I'll pose it. Hey, Rap Rankings fans, if you want me on some future state of the rankings, I'm not going to make any promises. If you want me to walk y'all through my Red Bull Music Academy application, I can do that because I still have it. Okay. (laughs) I'll only read you this. Apparently, question five, I said, To borrow a term coined by Milo, one of my favorite musicians, I would classify my style of music as self-help hop at the most narrow. In a broader sense, I would say I make alternative rap music. (laughs) Okay. No wonder I didn't get it. I'm surprised (laughs) Homeland Security didn't show up after that. (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. This one might be the shocker of the episode for me. This next one. Uh, All right. In doing my research, I saw Yellow Wolf sampled this. And I'm like, what? Oh, man. Then I heard it, and I'm like, I don't know. I kind of like this. Okay. So here's Yellow Wolf, everything I love the most. Let's check it out. (laughs) 
Why is everything I love the most so wrong for me? And everything I'm holding close is so far away from me. They don't want me to lie, but they don't want to hear the truth. It never made sense to me. Why everything I love the most is so wrong for me? Yo, problematic. I'm so problematic that I'm probably a problematic Poppin' aspirin cause my head is hurting. Hotel bedroom mixing curtains Sheets everywhere like a storm has passed In fact it looks like I got into a wrestling match Empty bottle of Jack, I can tell it to that I can smell it in fact, it's like death and ass Think for a minute and roll over and look To my left is an open book, a bible To my right is a guilty conscience, her name is Brooke My rival, at least I think her name is Brooke She's asleep and I'm giving her the lamest look Move her head back so that I can see your face Cause it was dark when I met her at the game It took about five minutes to get her inside the whip Another five minutes to get her inside the Lips. Never try really, man. Never try to slip. It's not terrible. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, and I thought the hook was pretty catchy. That mm-hmm. what is everything I love the most? So yeah, he did a little some extra with it for me, and it's over the you know the music, but it's like different. You know, I like, kind of like it. Yeah, I'd give it a flat seven, maybe seven plus. Oh, <laughs> free rating, free rating. Yeah, I kind of mm-hmm. like it uh, more than I expected to. You know, right. Not that I'm not aware of what Yellow Wolf is capable of, but Yellow Wolf over this, I'm just like, Ugh, that doesn't sound good. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like it's not like some southern shit. It's like, oh, we sample Willie Nelson, like Billy Joel and Yellow Wolf is not a combination that on paper works, but it was decent. Um, mm-hmm. This next one, I think, is proof that lightning cannot strike twice in the same place. <laughs> This okay. is Cameron, maybe and Vado, you ought to know part yeah. two. This is from UN The Lost Files Volume Two, I believe. Like he tried, okay. He tried to like resurrect this one and resample it. I don't even think Heatmakers did the beat. If uh, they did, it's indicative of where they were at at this time. But okay. yeah, this might be like the worst out of the flips. Alright, let's see. What up, Beat Slow? We back. Oh, a loving joint, though. Had to bring this back out the closet. <laughs> Listen, kill him. Uh, me and V12. In a V12 detail. Hunt 20,000 retail. We the glow trotters. No nose divers. What's those product? Coke Copa, no habla. Low mo choppers. Fofo pop, yeah. Hopper, and I'm drinking slow, but I'm thinking though, damn man, I miss that day drinking slow. So smoke gray, long length mink is snow. That's what I'm thinking, yo, and that's young kids, down the older cats. I thought I told you that. Kilo Graham even got a dime biz. Gotta see low hand dog, the bottom line is. Yeah, it's the UN baby. I mean, it sounds like the same beat. It sounds like, yeah, it sounds like the same beat. Maybe not the exact same, like, the samples don't sound like they're being triggered at the exact same time, though. hmm Like, is it a recreation of the old beat? Uh, maybe. I mean, the drums sounded the same, too. I mean, that didn't sound terrible. Like, I wasn't maybe mad I'm at misremembering. it. I'm misremembering. But... I remembered it like being a different flip. Maybe there's a different version as well that I'm not like even a part three out there. I don't know if it's <laughs> part three or if it's a remix, but there's one I specifically remember the beat being a little bit different. Huh. Um, but even that sounded like he's not interacting with the sample. I think that's the issue. He's huh. not stopping for the sample to breathe like they do on here. Um, but yeah, that's the extent of moving out. All right. Okay. So, there's a lot more where that came from, though, in terms of Billy Joel. So this next one, I'm actually going to ask you to play the full record. It's the only thing tonight I'm going to need you to do that for. Because okay. Cam goes last, and he has the best verse. But you got to hear how the song opens up. This one is Terror Squad. It's just Fat Joe and Remy Ma featuring Cameron, New York State of Mind. Mm, all right, so... All right, we're just into general Billy Joel samples now. 
yeah, we're going to move through the history of Billy Joel samples nice. in hip hop. And I ordered them in terms of like how old the Billy Joel record is, not the got it age of the sampled record. Right. Okay. Uh, well, here we go. Some folks like to get away, take a holiday from the neighborhood. Hop a flight to Miami Beach or Hollywood. But I'm taking a Greyhound on the Hudson River line. I'm in a New York state of mind. Uh, yo, it's Kid Coke, Ready Rock, heard the name before Harm them up, send them out, that's what they blame me for Play the pressure game quite flat The last thing you wanna say is you'll be right back Won't be stunting when them cannons burst And I make you one with the planet Earth It's the circle of life, reimburse you and hurst you to Christ You don't wanna see my work with a knife Yes, I'm a hustler's hustler, a cracker magician. Uh-huh. Took my act down to Cadillac, had an addiction. Yeah. Getting paper was my only high. Just me and my money, guess I'm a lonely guy. And yes, I'm so fly, and I'm arrogant too. Can't blame me, see, I grew up just as poor as you. And I'm a true, so it's impossible to talk a lie. I bet they named me king before my demise, cause I'm. The girls back in the building, BX, uh-huh. we back on the map. See, I'm a beautiful bitch that just happened to rap. The right bomb to the right one, the late great big pun. True official nigga, damn, we miss you, nigga. Rest in peace and though you gone, we know you hear a spirit. If they don't feel it, I know that they hearing it in my lyrics. Shit, I never worry, and I'm forever glory. And when I die, my little son is gonna tell my story. Try to ignore it, but they always stressing me. It's like they wanna see me cry, try to make me bleed. I got my pride, that's something they can't take from me I'd rather die before they see me on my fucking knees Look me in my eyes and tell me it's a chick that's touching me You can fucking lie, motherfuckers can't get enough of me Luckily I know that I'm great, got my mind straight I B-O-T with an N-Y mind state uh, Kobe moving Nevada, you hoop hoop and you holler Aluminum doing them, boom he a human pinata We consuming them dollars, hula hoops on the coop New to scoop on the boots, you assuming they Prada. They Farragamo, time so we got more pride. Mono we mono, this is where your whore hides. Get them sore thighs. She like my four or five and my four or five. Same color as fluoride. I got more rides. Glide, we some raw bias. Listen to Khan, you bout to get your jewel wires. This the war war, tell the niggas call Sire. DOA, call MOP, I need more fire. That's Billy and Fizzy, them niggas really get busy. It'll be really a Rizzy. Mac Millie, silly or sis. Chinchilli when chili, I just grin, I gotta be winning They all biting, milli vanilli I drive a really bonkers when I cop that silly tonka Toy truck life size, they say I really conquer Live in Harlem, play the Bronx, them hills and Yonkers I ain't just Big Will, nigga, I'm Willy Wonka No Charlie or chocolate, just probably a profit DSTS, probably a mob hit Killer, killer, dipset, terror squad Joey Krills, Macho, Remy, Santana, Jim Jones, Bronx, Harlem, Uptown, you already know what it is, man. We own this shit. The Don, the Dons, get at me, crap. You heard the man. We own this shit. That beat was crazy. <laughs> that's a nice flip. All right. Um, that's on an album, right? Nah, that's a rare it's record. Not... That's oh, straight wow. out the archive. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was, I was going to say, uh, if it was free takeaway, I'm not going to give any ratings out, but yeah, I'm taking that with me. I'm glad they this left a little one... beat at the end because I might have to loot that up. <laughs> We, we got um, a lot more, man. We got a okay. lot more. Uh, Piano Man is next. B- Billy Joel's Piano Man. Um, oh, okay. This is Shalom Alek by Intelligent Hoodlum. Okay. Shalom Alek. All right, here we go. Yo, yo, yo. 
my hell yeah, XL, you know my size. Yeah, I remind niggas like Mary J. Blige. Action footage from the Boulevard Live. Give me the scripture, is my nine to five. When I bust lines, I make you flip the wig. So it's that. Yeah, the opening notes of Piano Man. Right. Okay. Um, up next is the dearly departed Mac Miller, his oh, man. cover of Vienna by Billy nice. Joel, one of his favorite songs, one of my favorite songs. And I have to be honest here, I'm not the biggest fan of this cover, but he was a real deal Billy Joel fan. He swagged it out his way. I'm not going to hate on him, but this is not necessarily my speed. Here's Mac's Vienna cover. Vibier, you know, it it wasn't no Vienna sausage. All right, it's all right. Nine it was minutes. all right. It was all right. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but you could tell he put his heart into it. Word, yeah. Shout we out got to more. Mac. Okay. Shout out to Mac. Rest in peace. And this another rest in peace to Stack Bundles, who's on the next one. Life's like a movie, featuring Jim Jones. It's on the Bird Gang album. Scenes okay. from an Italian restaurant is the sample. Nice. Where it's on the Bird Gang mixtape, members of Bird Gang, I think. Okay. Got it. Uh, Life's like a movie. I ain't new to the game, man. Tell me how you want. How you want me to do it? Have Emilio Pua, Kucha, Lua. Have a damn Collins, sipping on Kalua. Opium of Weave, 13th Lua. Then what? The same night I meet her like I knew her. A version of Goldie bundles the Mac Man. I'm the Mac the dick like I'm holy. Who is Stack Man? Pac Man, I fuck him if he goes. Ghost. Doggy style jeans on, hand on my toes. And you ain't even close to what we consider a pimp. You have your monkey ass mind type. We consider a chimp. Huh. She headed the wrong place. I headed the wrong place. Looking in my eyes, mind you staring at the wrong face. For real. Face it, I'm the dawn. Flash the bracelet, get it and taste it, then I'm gone. So, bitch, get your act together. My life's a movie, I leave you in that act forever. My life's like a movie. Cause mama keep falling in love. My life's like a movie. And I'ma keep smoking and trying. My life's like a movie. Like a movie. I guess Max B's on there too. Hmm. There you go. Now we continue on with uh, something I am going to have to issue a disclaimer beforehand. It does not reflect the views and opinions, the feelings of the captain. Certainly, YouTube, I'd like to lay this out to all of you that this is in no way the betrayal, but rather just my attempt at being as historically accurate as possible when covering the history of Billy Joel samples in hip hop. So uh, up next is a G unit diss by <laughs> Joe Budden. Big shot sampling uh, big shot from 52nd street. The G unit soldier has to issue a disclaimer. All right, here we go. 
We've heard enough. Maybe. We get the way the the sample is basically what I'm trying to point out here, and not really the content necessarily. You know, I'm just trying to show you the different samples of Billy Joel. We heard how it was flipped, which was a good flip, I must say. Um, I, I'm shot. actually going to say uh, he, he who should not be named actually had a better flip of Big Shot to me. Okay, but uh, uh, do you want to play it? Uh, he he who should not be played either but okay i got you uh, i got you i mean and I, I got it it's somewhere around here but uh yeah. we don't need it if it's somewhere you know if it was there we'd be like all right let's i mean do it's it, always but. there you know when you when you recover from a cult you always have your ways back in you know it's kind of comes to the territory you can move on it's we not i mean on. we heard big shot you know all he really big does shot. is replay it like on a synth <laughs> we don't need that. We don't need it. <laughs> yeah. The world doesn't need it. If Billy heard it, he could he could get sick. <laughs> I don't want him to hear it. <laughs> oh man. Let's go back to season five. Season five. Um, Billy over there dry heaving. <laughs> <laughs> cool G rap and DJ Polo, Road to the Riches from Road to the Riches. Oh, oh here we go. Yeah, this was I mean, it was here. That's right. Season five. Okay, here we go. Remember them? Yeah, truly I do. yours. Yeah, they also had a highly homophobic record on there. Yeah, truly yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yo, Cool G Rap, Yo Polo, you ready to bust this funky album for the people? Yo, word, you know, boy, you about to get busy with it right now. Yo, word up, Marley, you know what time it is. I mean, there's too many suckers out there thinking that we can't do it. Yo, we gonna do it or what? Yo, who is this? Cool G Rap and Polos. Word up. Back again! 89, yo, all the way. Now bust something like this. Word. I realized it was a roll At the end, I would win lots of pots of gold Never took a break, never made a mistake Took time to create, cause there's money to make To be a billionaire, it's hard work for years Some nights I shed a tears while we set a bridge Been through hard times, even worked part time In a key food store, sweep the floor sometimes I was sort of a quarter, taking the next man's <laughs> I picture Billy at the piano with like a classic Late 80s, 90s hip hop He's got the, the you know, the hat turned back yeah. <laughs> He's nodding. <laughs> That'd be great. Anyway, I gave that song yeah. a seven minus, probably because of the Billy sample back in season five. Wow. But. Well, you know, Nas, he also sampled Stiletto, the original version that didn't make Streets Disciple. Uh, I think I attempted to play this once and actually played the Streets Disciple version. <laughs> so okay. let's, uh, let's give this another shot, if you don't mind. All right, here we go. 2004 Yeah L, what up? Prophecy Jeez. Prophecy, Disciple pain. Disciples What? Disciples Streets 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 Disciples Let's go Word to mama Any line of paramas Could bring any drama Anytime the city's mine Nines it's like Love undying Money's my bitch At Thug's Mansion Thug's dancing around the fly shit Farragamas Prada's Egyptian Camelback riders Pyramid architects Perry on bottles Money Jury Want me to come get me Hit me but don't miss me You hiss me Lead flown around like a frisbee, a 
Marleon Dawson, Sisley, kiss me. This ain't 50, this ain't Jigger, this ain't Diddy, this ain't pretty. Pain, power, pussy and pistols, lyrically no one, hold none near me, hear me, kids cheer me, like the count of Monte Cristo. Steady pounder, sounding like G without the list though. My big bro told me plain and simple, nines do not look back. Watch where you took rap, no book bags and trucker hats. Just army jacks and diamonds is flashing, what the fuck is that? Free stats. Disciple. Disciple. Streets. Disciple. Streets. Disciple. Streets. <laughs> Streets. <laughs> Disciple. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not a bad Off foot, the man. album Streets Disciple. Right. Imagine that was on Godson, though. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're staying God, in Queens. I authorize that. Okay. This is a brand new car from Action Bronson's major label debut, uh, mm-hmm. Mr. Wonderful. And it samples right. Zanzibar from 52nd Street. Here we go. I got a brand new car. New car. I got a jazz guitar. Uh. Welcome, everybody. Uh. Yeah, thank you a lot for coming. It means a lot to me. Steady out with my knee, plenty of botany. Damn, bad chick on top of me, pornography. And I know she only want me for my guapery. Uh-huh. Let me get my voice right. Uh, uh, Gary, sorry. One, two, three, four. It's the first time ever. Yo, fuck this jacket. I turn this shit to 85 napkins. Uh, Since she done, I'm now the captain. Trust you, me. Got them safer now. But there's always a new joker in town. Ready to smoke you with that pound. But when he shoot it, the flag says bang and everybody laughs. He must be open off the molly tab. I'm by the bar looking Swedish in a trench coat. Stupid. The only one drinking mango lassie in a bullpen. My lips are sealed like the singer with bad skin. My need for speed. The record is hard. It's a hard record to me. I like it. Oh, yeah, it's a good flip. Um, 50 Second now, Street, my favorite Billy Joel album. I bought 52nd Street on vinyl, which I don't really do. I'm a CD guy. I own the album on CD. I own all of his discography. I bought 52nd Street on vinyl from Vince Russo. Hit the drop, Mel. Oh. <laughs> we have many Russo drops. Which one do you want? Uh, give me something good. I'm a cartoon character, bro. <laughs> okay here we go <laughs> bro look at me i'm a cartoon character get a load of this bro look at me i'm a vinyl collector you know so i bought from his ebay shop venom vinyl which mm-hmm. if you he sells vinyl use vinyl at very reasonable prices and if you request a signature he'll give you one for some if you want that yeah. you know on your vinyl <laughs> so given that billy joel's my favorite artist Given that Vince Russo is from Long Island, I asked him if he would sign 52nd Street. And I bought it from him, and he sent it to me with Zanzibar circled on the back wow. in Sharpie. And he wrote, like, with an arrow, like, my favorite song. That's and then Come on. he wrote me a Come little on. message and signed it. So That's a 10. That's a this 10. Is a, th- listen, I'd like to think that Russo would give a brand new car a spin and from Queens. We're going to Marcy. Okay. But from Marcy, we're going to Hollywood. It's Jay Z Marcy to Hollywood featuring Memphis bleak and sauce money. It samples honesty. And it's one of, it's my second favorite behind you ought to know Mel. Wow. This is off the players club soundtrack. I don't know when we're going to get a chance to play this track or even review it again. So uh, let's just play it. And this is a classic non-album Jay-Z song, like top 10 or 20 B-side for sure. All right. Players Club, classic black movie, Billy Joel, classic white man. Here we go. Back again. And back again. See the Hollywood and back again And back again As a youth I used to hold the weed up Old head said I thought More like a soldier than a leader In order to succeed I had to slow my speed up Didn't listen to stuff Took another puff with achiever They said believe us or not Trust is something you earn With every mistake you make Back to us you return You probably would go Hollywood I thought he was joking 
first taste of fame, I hit the first thing smoking. All engulfed in the honeys, the pussy's tight. If she threw the pussy right, I got mushy. Right? Damn, baby, I love you. Take all my cash. You ain't got the lie, yet. You already get in the ass. She loved that I was a thug. It turned to on. As soon as I got soft, it turned to off. I got relaxed, put my feet up, start dissing my friends. And that's when the ceiling fell in. I went from Marcy to Hollywood and back again. Back again. I went from Marcy to Hollywood and back again. And back again. I came through with the shines like the streets was blind. Didn't master my algebra. No caliber. Stick me? I was thinking how and for what. But reality bites like a thousand months. Nothing worse than the person that's foul. No. To stick you quick. Don't fade it. No. Say you're not special. No, nobody I gets their own song I went from Marcy to Hollywood and back again. And back again. <laughs> We heard it. You played the whole song with Cameron and Fat Joe and it was an exception. Cameron's on the review. It's a Cameron. It's a Dipset review. Yeah. So I wanted to play the song till we got to the Cameron verse. Doesn't that make sense? Cam wasn't even really a staple of the rock. Ultimately, (laughs) if you look at you big picture, sounds like you're holding a grudge. Because he dissed your old ass. I went from Marcy to Hollywood and back again. We know, Jay. We just again. heard it. Good song. Good song for the record. But Thank we you. just heard it, Jay. It reminds okay. me of my player days. Oh, my God. Yeah, you, now you're domesticated, which is great. Why are you, speaking of which, <laughs> why are you always bothering us at Rap Ranking Studios? You have a beautiful wife, beautiful children, beautiful wife. You're a billionaire. Everybody loves you. You're, a lot of people consider you to be the goat of hip hop. Why are you always fucking hanging around us? Go home. <laughs> okay? Go home. <laughs> I'm going right? to Hollywood. Sure, wherever. What do they say? You, you ain't, well, no, you do got to leave and you got to get the hell out of here. I'm Marcy going to Hollywood, Marcy to Hollywood and back again. Yes. And we back know. again. Ten. Is there any Is there any more Jay tonight? That record's more? a ten. He's on the tape. Yeah, yeah, I am? Fuck. Oh, but we yeah. got something for his ass. We got something for his ass. Yeah, you're on the tape. You're on the tape. Yeah. Oh, I'll be back for that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so how about you leave until then, okay? Jackie, you going to be that? able to get from Marcy to Hollywood and back again to do the show? <laughs> nice, okay. <sighs> Jay, leave. We'll, we'll, we'll call you and let you know. You know what I call back. Joe Budden? What? A disgruntled employee. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, Jay. Yeah, very the, funny. The king of acting like old beefs don't bother him, but he's still thinking about them to this day. We know he is. We we know it is. And we, we know he is. We know it is. There's we more, Mel. There's more him. Billy Joel in hip hop before this Great. idiot tried to sidetrack us, okay? Right. Yeah. Anyway, get back to I it. clipped this because it's just a little moment in the song. Um, We've already covered this album, I think in season seven. Boogie Down Productions, Criminal Minded. This is the bridge is over, and this is KRS One's still rock and roll to me interpolation. Right, right, all right. Here we go. Square. Ooh, what's the matter with your MC Marley Mar? Don't you know that he's out of touch? What's the matter with your DJ MC Shan on the wheels of steel? Marley sucks. You better change what comes out your speaker. You better off talking about your whack boomers. Because once created hip hop queens will only get dropped and still selling lies to me. All right, shut it off. Everybody's talking about <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We we heard it. It was interpolating. It's still rock and roll to me. It's great. Right. Okay, it's not as good as that song. Anyway. It's not. Up next, Pressure. We got two Pressure samples. Hmm. Pressure is a Mules and Mel favorite. Billy Joel. It's song. a Mules and Mel favorite. I think it's. I, I'm not qualified to speak on the Billy Joel fan community, but I feel like it's an underrated Billy Joel record. So like uh, people don't talk people, about it, it as much. It's in the set list enough for me to say it's properly rated. Okay. All right. It's not overrated though, which is important. Right. Very important. Anyway, the K's. I think that's how you say it. The K's. Oh, Hard Not to Kill, featuring 3-6 Mafia and Lord Infamous, and this is the first of the two pressure samples. 
Yeah, we in this business to make motherfucking millions, nigga. We ain't in here to play with none of you play, motherfucking hey. hoes. Play hey, nigga, cause the nigga bank account fat, motherfucker. Nigga, fuck nigga, 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 nigga. Yeah, we still making money in this motherfucking contract fat, nigga. Y'all know what Contract I'm motherfucking fat. Play a hater? Nigga, you know we don't smile about motherfucking face, When I put that 40 in your ass, it's hard not to kill niggas. It's like an everyday job not to kill niggas. So what's a nigga to do? It's hard not to kill niggas. It's like an everyday job not to kill niggas. So what's a nigga to do? It's hard not to kill niggas. It's like an everyday job not to kill niggas. So what's a nigga to do? Me and my do? nigga had plenty of blood, so we had to go get a half G of that hen. I swear the bitch to the damn nigga stole my hands, fuck up and found them back at me in this past spot. Forever it took me, she seen cause the trick and both sweating me for the yaki. I was searching my pocket and then I heard pop. Just run out and see that my nigga was bleeding. It was in the G and the Mac, and the Lord in the bomber home and rolling with a gun to pack. Then the 50 screws up a little snack, toss a few pack, cause more more pops and track. They was talking shit the other day. Now the proper cross got offered, then they gotta turn away. When the goddamn bummer got to start, suck a one scarecrow, serve a head on the silver tray. I was sipping on the blue, hit two, two, smoking on the cool, got a smoke in the day. <laughs> okay, the, the rapid fire hats. The, that sounds like a beat I would have made in high school. Uh, I'm not mad at it, honestly. Uh, yeah, uh, you have to hear the next one to appreciate this one, I think. Okay. So this is Swollen Members, who I saw get pelted with bottles opening up for Ghostface at BB <laughs> Kings. <laughs> okay. They're Canadian, so I felt really bad for them. They don't mean any harm. But this is Pressure with the Pressure sample, and it's pretty fucking bad. I mean, it makes the last one, like I said, look a lot better in the light. All right, check so it out. So swollen members who did not deserve to get pelted with bottles, for the record. It's not their fault that the person who booked that show booked an opener that would not be compatible with that audience. <sighs> All right, here we go. Take me home to the place that I belong Lost skeleton bones Locked in the closet Deep family secrets Discover this recovery My brothers in sequence Never had to dance with the devil And pale moonlight snakes In the grass But the scales don't move right Fight when you need to Bite when you have to Run no <laughs> Bite when you need to Bite when you have to Where's the fucking drop? Oh man what? You're just ruining it you're ru- Look at my lips. You're ruining it, dude. Ruining. That's the album ruining. I think that they were performing in support of. For all I can recall, maybe this is the song they got pelted with bottles during. Which in that <laughs> case, it, 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 you should have thrown a brick instead of a bottle. <laughs> but otherwise, but, totally unacceptable. If it wasn't that song, okay. That that flip was a few notes away from like the Star Wars cantina music. Okay. Dude, like, no, I was, was hearing like Nightmare Before Christmas. You know, like uh, yeah. Boom, 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 yeah. Boom, 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 boom. You can see me on the block. You can see me. On the don't, whoa. Don't do whoa, whoa, like whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, shut up, bro. Shut up, bro. Shut up, bro. <laughs> shut, up, shut up, bro. <laughs> the swollen members. Yeah, where, where is it? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not saying they should have got hit with bottles. It makes sense that they got hit with bottles. But at the very least, someone should have told them. Shut up. Shut up, bro. Shut up, bro. Shut up, my nigga. Shut up. <laughs> now, okay. imagine like you're, like you're performing... For like a New York crowd waiting to see Ghostface, and that's what they open with. Not compatible. Not can. It's not gonna work. It's gonna. No, it's gonna get violent. Is what's gonna happen. (laughs) Like you can't put this stupid shit up in front of us. Like I wasn't throwing bottles, but I was looking around at people throwing bottles. Like, damn, they're really throwing bottles at this (laughs) man. I've never seen this. Like, never before or since has that ever happened. They were throwing beer bottles at his head. There were two of them, I think. I don't know. 
It was this bad. This is what would have happened if they would have, if, 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 you know, I wasn't protected by the universe and they would have let my uh, self-help hop making ass open up for Trade the Truth, you know? Look, in the in the Wu-Tang season, I talked about going to see Wu-Tang and getting, like, sprayed with champagne and shit and, like, seeing Bizarre Royale open up and they were spitting in my face and whatnot. Yeah. Like... Nobody talked about the to... Bizarre Royale. Uh, uh, yeah, in uh, the, the Cradle to the Grave review. Oh, is it cra- Oh, yeah, because they're in. Cra- yeah, what's it yeah. all for? In the, <laughs> in the Cradle to the Grave soundtrack <laughs> what's review. What's it all for? <laughs> so I talk about that Hammerstein Ballroom Wu Tang show I went to. Nobody was throwing bottles at Bizarre Royale, you know, but. Yeah. I digress. We're done with the pressure samples. We have two more Billy Joel samples, and we're out of here. Um, this next one's from Wiz Khalifa. Keep the conversation featuring Bose. Okay. Uh, samples leave a tender moment alone from the Innocent Man album. Hopefully it's not going to sound like leave a Billy Joel moment alone. Here we go. Even, e- even though I'm in love. To see what's popping with you Know a little about the kid Cause she been watching my moves Got my picture on the wall For when I popped in the news And true I've been running the town Thought of chicks I'm not mad at it. it It's very blog era Yeah, it's I'll definitely very blog era Bose is a name that I only remember Ever seeing in the blog era I'm trying to find like Any information on Um Like this Swollen Members show and they're talking about, on the Village Voice, there's an article uh, that mentions, like, them booing them off stage. I don't think they're mentioning the bottle throwing, though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> get, that's a, who would do, that's, that's a violent act. That's assault. Like, tomatoes, they hit you, it goes splat, okay? But a bottle, it's glass. It hurts. Yeah. Like, it's shatter it's and weapon. cut you. It's a yeah, weapon, you yeah. You shouldn't do that. Unless they do pressure. <laughs> then you have to. Okay. So we're back to Dipset to close I, it oh, out. I got an empty bottle right here of cheer wine. Okay. My, if I got hit with this, I'd cry. I'd probably bleed. Well, this they got booed okay. off. They got like, they didn't finish their set. Oh. Mel ducked. We know about him, okay? Swollen members didn't duck. <laughs> they should have. <laughs> uh, I, I guess ducking can be beneficial. Yeah, they're swollen members because they didn't duck and they got hit with bottles. <laughs> okay? It's their fault. Seven anyway. plus. Um, oh, okay, nice. Okay. <laughs> I'll take we're back it. to Dipset to close it out. So this is Uptown Girl, which samples Uptown Girl, and it's by J.R. Ryder. No, oh, J.R. Okay. All right. Dip set in the building. Here we go.
Very FL Studio uh, yeah. type flip, you know. I feel yeah. like once those kind of flips started, novelty samples lost something. Yeah. yeah. Well, what are you going to do? You give you give a you give a mouse a doll and <laughs> this is what happens. All right. Um but yeah, we've uh, exhausted all our options here. I mean, this well, is not the world quite. History. You for, you forgot one. I was surprised you forgot one. I forgot um, one. Yeah, uh, there was a flip. It's classic. If I do say so myself. In fact, I will say so myself because I made it. All right, <laughs> folks. It's it's a reach, kind of. But uh, if you recall, Mules, I flipped. It's technically Billy Joel. Um, what's the song on a? Uh, Oh, you know, okay. It was a live version. We were watching a Billy Joel documentary. We were watching Shades of Grey, which is the mm-hmm. VHS documentary that came out around the time of R- River of Dreams. I believe so. Yeah. Or were we watching? No, it wasn't that. We were watching the Bridge documentary. The Brit, right? The, the making of the Bridge. Yeah. Because it's Modern yeah. Woman, the song Modern Woman with that. Yeah, and he was playing that melody out live. <laughs> yeah, and we, <laughs> I heard something during the recording that just or uh, during uh, the documentary yes. that popped me. Yeah, and I flipped yes. it because I'm like, this is, folks. Do we have a Daniel uh, Bryan drop first? <laughs> Do we have Daniel Bryan? In here? I, don't, I don't know. I feel like we have a no, no, no. Do we have a yes, yes, yes? Oh, we <laughs> we have Mavis Staples. Well, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Mel's flip of um. This is a nine. A d- <laughs> Here we go, y'all. I'll be unveiling the giant shark I caught. 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 Mayan art. <laughs> like, that's right. That's got to be on. on I need to get that on our our top secret project. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> yeah, listen, <laughs> folks. You might be confused. Like, what the fuck was that? That's what I thought. So during the documentary, he's playing out that modern woman melody, and there's a dude in the studio that's like, "I'll be unveiling the giant shark I caught," and like. I'm like, what a sentence! And I'll like, never I was hear so that again. Fasc- right? I was. I'm. I'm convinced. Mel and I just is- completely <laughs> marked out for this offhanded sentence that, like, this guy that's not even talking to Billy. Right. He's talking to someone else in the room. Right. Someone and he just off says, camera, while, like, while someone's filming Billy, I'll be unveiling the giant shark I caught. <laughs> Which is like, I'm telling you, I'm, I am obsessed, truly obsessed with the thing because it's like, I'm convinced that's the first and last time in human history someone has ever uttered that combination of words to form that sentence. Because other think about it now, because other than in that moment, because why else would anyone it say in this that? Music though, <laughs> I'll be unveiling the giant shark I caught. What is like, that? What yeah, are the like, circumstances that would lead him to say, like, what ha- did he go fishing? And it's like a, like a, like a, some sort of exhibit. Like, it's the craziest sentence in the world to me. It's like, it's the new cellar door, honestly. Like, I'm obsessed with the sentence. <laughs> so I had to flip it. But yeah, uh, I don't want to know. Don't, don't classic. go looking, folks. I don't want to know who the guy is, why he said it. I'm, I want it to be a mystery for the rest of my life. That's what makes it special. So. Yeah. Um <laughs> now we're complete with the Billy Joel samples. Um Oh, by the way, like uh-huh. I, you know what? Fuck it. I'll save this for the news next week. Okay. I'll save it for I the news. That has been YouTube, week. you've been great as always. Right. And to our listeners, you guys are the best. 
Um, <laughs> we got to go on to the next track, but oh yeah, 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 it's been a real pleasure, an honor, a privilege. Hit the like, subscribe, share, tweet, comment, fucking send it neurologically to yourself. Do what you got to do. All, all, all that stuff, you know. Thank, thank you for listening. Uh, yeah, you want to move on? Yeah, I think we should. All right. Uh, oh, oh, wait. Before, before we go, I do want to say my favorite interaction with the sample in the song is Joel's hop out, glock out, like, you should never argue with the crazy motherfucker. Then I shoot you, hop back in and maneuver. maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> you got to love it. All right. Here, okay, let's move on. Yo, it's Mel from Rap Rankings. To hear the full episode this clip comes from and all the other episodes, stop by raprankings.com or search Rap Rankings on your favorite podcast platform.